Welcome to um, the Saatchi Undergraduate Webinar Series, um, where tonight we'll be focusing on the Spring 2018 semester. My name is Rory Summers, and I am the Undergraduate Admissions Counselor at Saatchi, so I work directly with students interested in semester study abroad opportunities. In addition to semester study abroad opportunities, we also offer three different short-term summer programs, two in Florence, Italy, and one in Venice, along with different graduate study programs um, offering degrees in master's, master of fine arts, and post bac certificates. So today I'm here to talk a little bit about the spring semester. Um, if you have questions, you should see a chat feature to your right on the YouTube page. Please feel free to leave questions as you think of them as there will be an opportunity for questions to be answered at the end of the presentation. Otherwise, you can always email me with questions. Um, you should have access to my email, um, which is where you receive the link to this presentation. So first off, in regards to Saatchi, um, I want to address the on-site experience, access, and collaboration that Saatchi offers. When you study at Saatchi, uh, you'll be living and working and learning in the downtown historic center of Florence. Our campus is located in the heart of Florence, just mere steps from the Duomo, Uffizi, Academia, and other um, well-known monuments, museums, and design areas of Florence. Our goal is to give students access to all of these different features of Florence, both as part of the classroom and in their everyday life as a citizen of Florence. Uh, one of the ways that we do this is to provide different opportunities for collaborations between students, museums, and other design uh, organizations of Florence. Depending on different classes that you take, you can have the opportunity to pair with museums uh, to help them with different design projects, such as uh, designing the visitor experience in museums. And these projects become part of the museum experience. So students have the opportunity to work on projects that have real life applications. We also recently partnered with Ferragamo to give fashion design, interior design, and other design students opportunities to design different projects that are, again have real life applications to them. Uh, in addition to having students work closely with artists outside of the classroom in Florence, we also bring artists into our facilities for dis different symposium and uh, exhibition opportunities. Last year, we held a one-day symposium called From Galileo to Mars on the intersection of science and arts, inviting artists to speak about how science has impacted their lives and their artwork, and also inviting astronauts to come and speak about how art has been an influence on their lives, even in the science or engineering spectrum. 
On campus, we have two gallery spaces where we have rotating exhibitions open to our students and the public to showcase different works of art, ranging from recent Saatchi alumni to Saatchi faculty to other artists in the local and local community and beyond. Other opportunities for students include uh, opportunities to visit local galleries, to meet with local artists and see their work, to go beyond uh, just artwork in Florence to experience artwork and artists around Italy and throughout the rest of Europe, both on their own and also in conjunction with classes that they are taking. The courses that we offer are designed to be a great intersection between continuing to focus, hone, and expand the craft that you're studying at your home institution and try your hand at brand new course opportunities that would not be available at your home school. To go quickly through the different areas of courses that Saatchi offers, we offer painting, in different mediums as well as different levels of instruction from beginning to intermediate to advanced. Photography, both black and white and digital color. Sculpture, again in different mediums from beginning to intermediate to advanced, including the opportunity to work with marble, jewelry design, and different craft areas such as weaving. Multidisciplinary and multimedia art um, combining lots of different areas of art in, and instruction. Graphic design as well as other design areas such as illustration, infographics, typography, and more, including an opportunity to have a design internship, boutique and serigraphy, book arts, Conservation, working on the restoration of different pieces of art for public consumption, including working on paintings uh, in our lab on campus, as well as different uh, artworks out and about in the community, um, and archeological artifacts. We also offer classes in Italian language and culture, as well as creative writing and history of Italian cinema. All of our classes are offered in English, but we do provide the opportunity for students to take Italian at different levels of instruction or to participate in nightly uh, or during orientation um, Italian language crash courses to learn some key phrases. Our art history courses are available from Renaissance to contemporary artwork and take place on site so that our students have the opportunity to see the works of art that they are talking about in classes uh, by being in museums and sitting in front of those arts of those works of art. In addition to our course opportunities and collaboration opportunities, we encourage students to get outside of the classroom on field trips and on daily trips around Florence. Almost all of our courses have an opportunity to either spend daily time outside in Florence, outside of the classroom, or to travel on the weekends. For example, our sculpture class takes a trip to the local marble quarry outside of Florence, where students have the opportunity to see how marble is extracted from the quarry. Drawing and painting classes go around Florence to gain inspiration from what they are seeing to paint and draw it. And other classes will go further afield outside of Florence on the weekend for daily and overnight trips to places such as Venice, Pisa, Rome, Bologna, and more. On the weekends, we encourage students to get outside of Florence and travel on their own, whether that might be around Italy or further afield into Europe. Uh, this provides students with plenty of opportunities to visit other monuments and museums around Europe to gain further inspiration. We also encourage students to take opportunities on the weekends to stay in Florence to see a different side of Florence than they normally see during the week when they are traveling between classes Monday through Friday.
What makes study abroad different from just traveling as a tourist to Florence is the opportunity to become involved in the local community and immerse yourself in Florentine culture. To begin with, we do this by having our students live in apartments scattered throughout the downtown area instead of living in a dorm situation. Our students will live in apartments with other Saatchi students on the program, but their neighbors will be local members of the community. This allows our students to spend as much time as possible in the streets of Florence, exploring their neighborhood, getting to know their neighbors, and experiencing the local life of Florence. There are plenty of opportunities to take picturesque pictures of gelato and more, which means uh, opportunities to take advantage of the local cuisine. Uh, there are many restaurants for our students to try um, so that they can sample the local cuisine and it's very affordable to do so. Additionally, we do not offer a meal plan or a cafeteria, so our students grocery shop and prepare uh, food for themselves. This allows our students to get to know their neighbors by shopping in the same markets as them, exploring the farmer's market, getting to know local businesses such as neighborhood bakeries, and making acquaintances and friends by visiting local coffee shops and more in their neighborhood. There are also plenty of different festivals and celebrations for our students to attend, as well as local events such as marathons that our students are welcome to participate in. There are plenty of opportunities for our students to volunteer and get involved in the community that way by, getting, by volunteering in local gardens, as English language school helpers, and as museum tour guides. For our students enrolled in Italian language courses, we also encourage them to get to know students of their own age um, at the local university whose cafeteria is seen here by going to have a coffee and striking up a conversation with students. This allows our students to practice their Italian language skills, but also gives the Italian students an opportunity to practice their English skills in addition to making friends. To talk a little bit about our facilities, our, our school is made up of two main buildings called palazzos or palaces. Seen here is our main building, um, the pa Palazzo dei Cartoglioni, which is a hundreds of years old Renaissance building. The original scroll work is seen outside with a bust of Galileo, um, as this palace was originally purchased and lived in by a student of Galileo. It was also later rumored to have been the family home of the woman who sat for the Mona Lisa. These palaces have been converted into studio and classroom space, so it is where our students spend most of their time. There is also a beautiful garden out back where students can have the opportunity to relax or to take some of our courses such as sculpture and more. In this building is also a library where students have access to many of the different resources that they will need for academic papers and also a place to study. Our other building is the Jules Madoff Palazzo. It's our newest building and named after our founder Jules Madoff, an American painter who fell in love with Florence and opened the school in 1975. Four American artists have a place to go and hone their craft while experiencing the city of Florence. It's home to mainly our graduate studio space, but also houses some of our dark rooms, graphic design rooms, and some of our Italian language courses. And so students, undergraduate students may still have the opportunity to take advantage of courses in this building. Here you see one of the details on the ceiling in one of the classrooms in this building as well as a detail in the ceiling of the fresco painting classroom also housed in this building. Um, it is really a great opportunity to be able to take classes in a historic building where you may be working on a computer doing graphic design, but still looking up at what is original artwork and detailing of a building that is hundreds of years old and has been preserved. So to talk a little bit about specifically applying for the spring 2018 semester, we work on rolling admissions. We do have a scholarship deadline of October 15th and a general deadline of November 15th. 
These are the last possible days for you to apply, but you can apply as soon as you are ready to do so. We operate on rolling admissions, so the sooner you apply, the sooner you can be accepted and begin to work on your travel plans. To apply, it is, it's a fairly simple process. You will first fill out an online form um, and pay a $70 application fee. From there, you will submit a current and official trans, trans current and official transcript from your school, uh, and we require a minimum 2.75 GPA. You will also submit a signed study abroad advisor form, which says uh, the courses that you are interested in taking, and that your home institution grants you permission to study with Saatchi, and that your courses will transfer back. For the general application process, that's all that we need. If you're interested in applying for scholarships, we need you to have that application form and materials submitted by the application deadline of uh, October 15th. For scholarships, there are also a couple of extra steps that need to be taken. You'll need to submit a portfolio and an essay to be considered for scholarships, as our scholarships are awarded both on merit as well as need-based. Um, you'll also need to submit your FAFSA information. For more information on our scholarships, you can visit our website. That is a quick rundown of Saatchi and information about applying to the spring semester. Um, one thing that I did just forget to mention is that students applying for the spring will need a visa and therefore it is a good idea to submit your application sooner rather than later so that you have the maximum amount of time to work on the visa application process. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there is a question area, a chat area to the right of this video where you can submit your questions now. However, if you don't have any questions now, please feel free to email me. Again, my name is Rory Summers, and you can email me at rsommers at sachi-florence.edu with any questions that you may have. Thank you so much for attending. Um, again, I don't see that there are any questions right now, so please feel free to email me with any questions that you may have in the future. Thanks so much for attending, and I hope to see you soon.